As you can see from my environment here, we have a cluster with a single GPU. And right now we have 0.8 GPUs uh, uh, allocated within that cluster. If we go to the Kubeflow dashboard, you can see we have three notebooks created here. Um, if we go back to run AI and go to the jobs page, we can see those three notebooks running within uh, this environment. Now the key thing to note here is if we select one of these, you can see actually how much GPU has been assigned to each notebook. So you can see our fractional um, GPU capability in action here. This notebook has 0.1 of a GPU assigned. This one has 0.2 and this last one here has 0.5. Um, and so you can see that's how we get to that 0.8, but ultimately we're allowing multiple notebooks to run on a single GPU. If we go back to Kubeflow and choose new notebook, I can again give it a name. Let's call it notebook four. Um, and then what we can do is uh, scroll down. We don't need to select GPUs here. Instead, we should choose the configuration that's appropriate. So let's just choose another 0.1 GPU notebook. If I click launch, again, we'll go ahead and create this. If we go to the Run AI dashboard, we'll see this appear within the dashboard and we'll see that it has the 0.1 GPUs assigned here. The other thing that's worth noting within the Run AI interface is for troubleshooting purposes, uh, there can be a lot of information provided to you here as well. So for example, you can see the status history, you can see exactly what's what's happening. So, you know, us pulling the image, etc. cetera. Um, if you go to GPUs, you can start seeing utilization of that GPU. Um, and if you do graphs, you can see utilization of the various different components. Um, and more importantly as well, you can see the logs uh, of, of the container that's been created. So if there's any troubleshooting that needs to be done, there's any errors that you're running into, potentially you can identify them through the use of the logs. Um, if we go back to Kubeflow, we can select the notebook, choose connect, um, and we can have our, our notebooks up and running. As I said, the key thing here is, you know, when you're using Jupyter Notebooks, there's every chance that you don't need an entire GPU, particularly when you're developing models, for example. Um, and in that scenario, having the ability to assign just 0.1 of a GPU and having 10 notebooks run on a single GPU rather than needing uh, an entire GPU for each notebook is much more efficient and allows you to get a lot more out of your environment. If you want to hear more, drop us an email at sales at run.ai or go to docs.run.ai. Thank you.